Have you ever wanted to use Burp Suite with an Android emulator? I'm a mobile application pen tester, which means that I use Burp Suite with mobile devices all the time. And I'm going to show you how I set up Burp Suite to work with an Android emulator. In an earlier video, I showed you how you can root an Android Studio emulator using Magisk. And that's actually going to be very important here because we're going to use a Magisk module in order to install a Burp Suite certificate. The module we're going to use is called Always Trust User Certificates, and you can download it for free from GitHub. I'm just going to go to the releases page and download the zip file for always trust user certs version 1.3 and once I have that zip file I'm going to launch my Android emulator and then I'm going to use ADB which I've showed you how to use before in the past and I'm going to push it onto the file system of the device now that I have that on the device I'm going to open up Magisk and I'm going to go to modules and install from storage and I'm just going to select the menu right here and go to the actual phone storage system and here we see that file that we just pushed onto the file system and I'm going to select it and install confirmation that should just take a second or two to install and then I'm going to click reboot. Once the emulator reboots, we can go back to Magisk and we see that that always trust user search module is installed. So now we have to actually get the certificate from Burp Suite. This process will work for pretty much any proxy tool you want to use, like Midim Proxy, Charles Proxy, any of those kind of things, but Burp Suite is just the one that I prefer. So I'm just going to go to the Burp Suite proxy settings and I'm going to click import export CA certificate. And I'm going to select export certificate in DER format and I'm just going to name my certificate file burp.der. Once I have that certificate file downloaded, I'm just going to do the exact same thing that I did with the module just a minute ago and I'm just going to run ADB push, the path to that certificate file, and then slash SD card slash. And I'm going to go back to my emulator and go to the settings. I'm going to scroll down to security, encryption and credentials, installer certificate. Then I'm going to select CA certificate, install anyway, and once again going to go back to the file system of the phone and here's that burp.der file that we just pushed over to our device and I'm going to select that and CA certificate get installed. So now if we look at trusted credentials, we see that there's this list of system credentials and then if we select user, we see there's that port swigger CA certificate that we just installed. Now if this was several years ago, we could stop here. A few years ago, Android actually made some changes and now all applications by default will ignore user certificates. So you either have to do a override individually on each application that you want to use or you have to install that certificate as a system level certificate. But fortunately, we just installed this Always Trust User Certificates module, which is going to do all that work for us. Now that we have that certificate installed as a user cert, all we have to do is reboot the device and that module is going to do all the heavy lifting. After the emulator reboots, I'm just going to go back to the settings, back to security, scroll down to encryption and credentials, trusted credentials, and now if we scroll down through the system certificates, now we see that Portswigger certificate, which was just installed as a user cert, is now installed as a system level cert.